Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children, and she had an Egyptian maidservant whose name was Hagar. So Sarai said to Abram, See now, the Lord has restrained me from bearing children. Please go into my maid. Perhaps I shall obtain children by her. And Abram heeded the voice of Sarai. Genesis 16, verses 1 and 2. Have you ever felt that you were supposed to receive something from God, but it just has not yet materialized? You wait and wait until finally you decide that maybe God wants you to help out the situation. This is exactly what happened in the case of Abraham and Sarah. God promises them a son in their old age, but as the years pass by, they find themselves to still be without a child. So, as is so typical of human nature, they take their eyes off the one who makes the promise and decide to take matters into their own hands. So Abraham lay with Sarah's maidservant, Hagar, and she bears a son, Ishmael. See Genesis 16. Little do they know that the son of promise, Isaac, is still to come later through Sarah, just like God promises. Isn't it interesting to note that the modern-day conflict between the Arabs and Israelis is still the fruit of this act of disobedience that occurred centuries ago? I can recall multiple times in my life in which I moved forward with some personal agenda with the best of intentions, only to fall flat on my face. Each time my pursuit had all the hallmarks of a godly venture, but I was premature and guilty of presumption instead of faith. The way to avoid making Ishmael-like decisions today is to seek God fully on the matter in prayer. Be in an accountable relationship with our spouse and our close associates who know us well and can offer helpful advice, and lean on the spiritual wisdom that God provides through His Word. Whenever we want something strongly, it is a dangerous place to be because we no longer look at the matter objectively with a willingness to change our viewpoint. We must learn to approach each matter with openness to God's will in order to fully see God's perspective. Let's be very careful to avoid running ahead of God. May we learn to wait patiently and confidently for Him to lead us wherever He wants us to go. This has been Upreach a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. We love you.